All right, budget magic, a modern eight rack. Let's see if we can keep our winning alive. Uh, yeah, this hand's reasonable. Wrench mine's good. Augur of skulls is fine, and victim of night, hopefully good. It's good against a lot of decks. But then there are some decks that don't really care about victim of night. Bloodstained Mire, are we up against Jund, or Burn, or... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. If this is Grishelbrand... Oh, alright. Pitch Double Lingering Souls. Interesting. Ooh, Smallpox. Should we smallpox to keep them? Um, smallpox makes sure they can't flash back lingering souls next turn. And we have an extra land. Yeah, let's smallpox. Uh, so we can discard a land, I think. Sack land, our opponent sacks land. What did they discard? They discarded Raven's Crime. Oh boy. What is... Is this a pseudo-mirror of some kind? They apparently want things in their graveyard. Well, let's wrench mind. Hmm, do they have Spell Snare? No. Just searching out a tap land. And discards double smallpox. Hmm. Well, this must be a loam deck, which uh is pretty bad. Once they can, st oh, zombie infestation. If they can start loaming back lands, we're in real trouble. Land. Well, let's smallpox again. This time, I think we'll discard victim of night. They discard Ghost Quarter, we sack a land. And we play this land to pass the turn. Oh boy. Well, if they never draw a... <laughs> if they never find a uh, life from the loam, then we might have a shot. But once they do... Yeah, let's Augur of Skulls here. If we blackmail, they probably just discard the two cards in response and make a zombie. What would be good here? Any of our rack effects would be nice. Raven's Crime. Well, let's Raven... Huh. Let's blackmail our opponent. See if they discard to make a zombie. They do not. Oh boy. So we just gotta basically hope they never draw land? I guess we can, if we pitch loam, they get to loam it back to their hand. Is that fine? They skip their draw step, get it back to their hand, and then they're still trying to find a land? Maybe that's fine. And then we can Raven's Crime. I mean, once they draw land, we're, we're probably done for. So we just gotta hope they don't find a land. Because then they can undo all of our discarding work. Dismember, not very exciting at the moment. Since our opponent has no creatures. Uh, they're going to make a zombie. Well, let's dismember the zombie. Might as well get some value for from it. Alright, never draw land. 12 more turns without a land. Let's do it. 
Oh, they missed. Swamp. Well, what's Raven's crime? <laughs> Terminate. All right, 11 more turns without a land. Or we could draw a rack. A rack would help. We also have those Nile spell bombs post board. The odds of our opponent not drawing a land for that many turns is so slim. <laughs> Just how we drew it up. Oh, and it's a squee that they can get back for free. <laughs> squee bounces back to our opponent's hand uh, at their upkeep. <laughs> no land, no land, no land. Oh! And it's a green source, so they're going to be able to get Loam going next turn. They can flash back Lingering Souls. Now I think it's game over. <laughs> it's fun why it lasted. Well, there's a Shrieking Affliction. But I think the Loam is still going to do us in. Like, we get damage here, which is good. But then they can dredge back Loam. Loam to get back three lands. And it's just going to be hard for us to ever get them low enough for Shrieking Affliction to matter. There's a Loam. Gets back the lands up to four cards. Plays a land. We take four. Ooh, the rack, but we can't. Oh, uh, what does this do? Whenever a creature deals damage to you or planeswalk you control, if it's in your graveyard, destroy attacking creature and put Vengeful Pharaoh on top of your library. Hmm. Oh my lord. I guess that works. I totally misplayed misplayed that. So we can regenerate, so our opponent is gonna put that vengeful pharaoh on the top of their library. So I guess we gotta wait till next turn and hope that somehow things go well. Seems unlikely though. Our opponent dredges, gets back loam. See they're just gonna have too many cards now. If we could somehow get them empty-handed, we could kill them, but we're not going to get them empty-handed. I think what I was supposed to do was sack that auger at our up during our upkeep. Yeah, we're done. Uh, I think I misplayed there. I think we need to sack that auger during our upkeep. And then... I hope we drew another Shrieking Affliction. And then we could have won. It wouldn't have mattered, but it was a mistake on my part. So I think we take out Targeted Removal. We bring in the Nile Spell Bombs for sure. We bring in maybe a couple languishes to clear the entire board. And I guess we take out Stupor? Well, or Victim of Night. Maybe we take out Victim of Night. And leave two of the. Uh, take out two of the Victim of Nights, leaving the Stupors. This seems like a rough matchup. We really, really need Nile Spellbomb. Double Rack, Shrieking Affliction, Zero Land. Can't keep that. All right, well, that's sort of something. The problem is our opponent doesn't mind discarding. So us making them discard just isn't that exciting when they have blood gas, for example. Like, they're happy to discard that. They're trying to discard that. So this is another one of those just really bad matchups.
although we get to smallpox here, but it's probably not going to matter because they're still going to get back that blood gas. So we discard Victim of Night. At this point, our hope is to get them low enough on resources that we can start dealing damage with this rack. Graven Karens gets back a Bloodgast. Only adds colorless mana, though. Well, I guess we get to Raven's Crime, our opponent. They discard a Smallpox. We'll play a Swamp and play the Rack. Not dealing any damage yet. Needs to get a, we need to get our opponent under three cards for it to do anything. So I guess we're hoping for more discard. Ooh, blackmail's not bad. We can blackmail. Still doesn't get him under three cards, though. Flame Jab. Life from the Loam. Ray of Revelation. Hmm... All cards our opponent doesn't mind having in the graveyard. Do we take the life from the loam? It lets them dredge. Uh, Revel Revelation doesn't really matter at the moment. Thing is, if they just draw a green source and they can get those lands back, I think we gotta take life from the loam. It feels bad, but there's not very, just not very many good discard targets in that deck, is what it comes down to. So we're still not dealing damage. We need to get our opponent to discard more cards. Once they, we're basically in the same position as last game, where once they draw land, for example, Temple Garden, now they're just in business because they can get back this loam, get back all their lands, and then our rack is just never going to do anything. Although we could draw a Nail Spell Bomb, that is our out to this situation. Without a Nail Spell Bomb, though, I don't think we really have. I don't think we have any real chance of winning. Uh, Augur of Skulls isn't isn't going to do it in this situation. I don't think, because our opponent's just going to refill their hand with lands. And then our way of winning is just pretty much closed off. Plus there's double lingering souls. Probably actually going to scoop in the not super distant future. Again, unless we draw a Nile Spell Bomb. Nile Spell Bomb is the one card that gives us a slight chance. We could exile life from the loam and double lingering souls, and then we're kind of in the game. Uh, all right, we'll just play the swamp. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> so this has been the story of good and bad matchups. So far, we played four matchups matches. We're two and two. And basically, we either completely blow our opponent out and they don't have any chance, or we run into a bad matchup and we don't really have any chance. And so, so far the bad matchups are this one, obviously, Dredge, which is amazingly bad against the discard deck. Like, we have very little chance of winning. And then, um, what was the other bad matchup? Oh, <laughs> we'll leave Abzan, of course, where uh, our opponent's three discards in the first game were Will Leaf Liege, Loxodon Smiter, and Lingering Souls. Then the good matchup so far, we destroyed Angel's Grace combo, and we destroyed Hate Bears. Mono white, I believe. At least it looked mono white. The game didn't actually go that long, because we just completely... Oh my lord. 
We actually have the slightest chance of winning now, unbelievably. We get to exile our opponent's graveyard. <laughs> wow. That was... We have a very small chance. We draw Raven's Crime. I think that basically we're going to need to go Land Languish. Oh, and our opponent didn't even discard to make a zombie? I figured that would be an automatic. Well, we're, we're sort of alive, but... Those blood gas are faster than our clock at the moment. Another Nile spell bomb. Well, unfortunately, we <laughs> we're drawing all the Nile spell bombs now, uh, which was the card we wanted. To be fair, it was our one out. Uh, we got to crack it right away though, because we need action. And now, now I think we're dead. We were, ah, oh, so close. Because now there's just nothing we can really do. Even if we draw a removal spell, we're still dead, and we don't have enough lands for Languish. But Nihil Spellbomb kind of made a game of it. Yep, alright. Good matchups, bad matchups. This was a bad one. We'll try again.